Merry me everyone, Rowan here. I wanted to do a little video, although it might turn out to be a bit bigger than a little video, of firstly my change in altar setup. I, um, you saw in the last video, had the little um, shelf that was on top of bits that I kind of um, had a a red satin cloth over and was using that as an altar because I didn't really have anything else I was comfortable using. Well, as you can see, because I was so in love with the altar cloth that I got from Bobby, um, December Snow, I changed my altar. I, I went to bed thinking about it, I woke up thinking about it, I ummed and all day and I just went, you know what? Sod it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to follow the call, and I did it, and I couldn't be more happy. So I'll come up and give you a slightly bigger view. It's not going to focus. Come on, focus. Just doesn't want to focus right now. Okay, we'll come back down here and hopefully it'll focus on the way around. Okay, so we've got the altar cloth. Is it hanging over the edge? There's my plant. Ah, oh, that's a bit more focused. So you can see there's the chrome altar pentacle in the middle. And there was a few compliments on my nails in the last few videos. They've changed, they're now blood red. <laughs> Um, but thank you anyway. <laughs> um, over here um, I've got a bit of driftwood that is in a gorgeous twist and spiral. I'm all about spirals and that kind of perpetual motion jobby. Um, I picked this up, my bestie Rue um, or Leone. Um, we went for a witchy day, we went down to the Holy Well and we went in and around town and got some few bits which I'm going to show you in a minute and we just had a lovely generally witchy day. Um, she is a witch also which is fabulous that I can share the craft with my best friend, my soul sister, it's, it's awesome. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So we've got the chrome pentacle in the middle there also from Bobby. Um, little offering bowl from Jill there. I haven't got anything in it at the moment because although I've cleansed and consecrated said altar, um, I'm going to off camera a bit later on um, actually do a little ritual for um, recognising this as my working altar. So it's a kind of half done at the minute. It's going to be quite more jazzed up. Um, so there's my little mortar and pestle there, my little citrine, my candle there with quartz points. See it's focusing really well on this, ah there we go. I think it's the candle glare that throws it off. <coughs> oh excuse me. Um, and there's the scroll um, with the herbs and their properties from Jill there and some quartz points over here. Now, I'm going to run through some various different bits that I've either been gifted by friends um, or that I found in charity shops because that's my favourite way to shop. I like to repurpose things. I like things that have already had some love and if need be and where need be, I can cleanse them, etc. Um, and repurpose them for my use. Um, obviously, some stuff is new. I think um, one, two, three. three of the bits that I'm going to show are new. Um, Four of the bits. Mm. See, I can't count. Firstly, uh, I've got some sage, which has kind of gone out, so I'm just going to light that a little bit more. Um, burning in there is my sensor bowl cauldron. It's really mini, but it's it, this is literally, it's not to be used, or I won't be using it um, in terms of can, uh, cauldron magic this is purely for 
incense or sage, whether it be like discs with loose incense on it, which I'm in the process of making, etc. Um, so it's stone. I'm not sure what type of stone. I want to say soapstone, but I'm not entirely certain. I'd, all I know is that it's heat proof enough that you can put charcoal in there, you can put loose sage leaves in there, you could even, I suppose, if you wanted to do any form of fire magic where anything was written, um, folded up some wood and then burnt, it would it would cope with that, but nothing more flamey. Um, so yeah, that was from Wakem's Wellbeing, and that was £8. That was nice and cheap, so I'm really pleased with that. And this lighting is really not doing it any favours. If I hold it behind, I can see now that's a good idea. What did I think of that sooner? Can you see? And on the inside, you can't really see it. It's got a little spiral. So, pop that down there. And then over here, and some of you would have seen my call out on Facebook for Californian White Sage because I was tripping because I couldn't find any anywhere and I desperately wanted some. Well, the powers that be obviously heard me because I went into Wakem's Wellbeing, which is the metaphysical store near me where I get my witchy bits, most of them. And just having a browse around and ooing and ahhing at everything. And the lady that runs the store and owns the store came out from the back with a basket full of sage bundles. And as I turned, I swear to God, my eyes focused from far too great a distance away than you'd normally think you could focus. And I've actually moved the label so you guys, oh, I was gonna show you, huh? Um, Californian White Sage. And I, it's, it's pretty big. I mean, that's my forearm next to it. So it's not tiny, not tiny at all. Um, that was seven pounds, I think. It was last week and I've slept since then, so I've forgotten. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased about that. It's had a little christening. Um, I quite often prefer, when it's just like for things like um, incensing and, and stuff on my altar, I prefer to break a leaf off and burn that separately like I'm doing in my little sensor. Unless I'm doing like a house cleansing or a person cleansing or a cleansing space of circle, um, anything like that, then I'll actually light the bundle and waft. Okay, so some other bits. I forgot, I... <laughs> I left it out of the video, mainly because I forgot, I left it out of the video that I did with the love mail from December. One of the other things was this, this Triquatra, um, it's listed as a journal, it's going to be my um, tarot and oracle journal. Um, Jill and I, Morigana and I have spoken a few times um, about this. I've been reading for myself for quite a long time, but I'm beginning to branch out through feeling the call. Um, basically, that's the best way I can describe it, for reading for others. Um, and so I'm journaling my experiences through sort of self-study, I suppose is the phrase that you would use. Um, so it's a lovely book. I'm only going to go so far because it's been written in with a little bit at the front <laughs> um, and that's the back and that's the inside back page and it's got a lovely but I've got spray paint on my finger because I've been making stuff <coughs> excuse me sorry coughing all over you guys <laughs> um, and then also when Jem and I uh, went to Wakem's sorry Leonie and I went to Wakem's I got some Moldavite, or we got, she, actually she got some as well, some Moldavite incense. I had never heard of Moldavite, so we picked the packet up and we had a whiff and fell in love. And I'm going to read out the bit on the back here. Um, Moldavite is the product of a meteor collision with Earth nearly 15 million years ago. It fell over what is now called the Moldau River Valley in the Czech Republic. These green gems are among the most rare minerals on earth. They have been prized by humans for thousands of years and are still given as gifts from royalty to royalty. In legend, 
It is believed Moldavite was the green stone in the Holy Grail and has the power to quicken one's spiritual evolution. There you go. So, and it's aside from all that wonderfulness, the smell, and they're quite long sticks. I mean, quite long. And I like, I really like um, at the bottom of an incense packet, you quite often get left with a fair bit of loose powder. I like to just kind of scoop all that together and chuck it on a disc, and it's a much richer smoke than if you just burn the stick on its own. So that's that. And next in charity shop finds, and it's not going to show up blue now, I can guarantee it because of the camera. And, oh, it is! Yay! <laughs> um, is this gorgeous bottle, which I think I'm going to use as a spell bottle, although my initial thought was to use it for um, full moon water, which I will be um, setting out and cleansing and consecrating in the full moon soon as that's approaching. It's got a little stopper in the top which isn't chipped or broken, which is fab. And that was the grand price of £1.49. Fabulous. Very pleased with that. Also, I've taken the wrapper off, but <coughs> I had a sort of temporary book of shadows on the go um, in the old flat um, at the time of the fire. Um, and so I'd just been literally this is so pathetic because it's all I could do because I had no money was I was just writing things on bits of paper and bundling them together and there's just this ever growing pile of bits of paper with recipes and spells and chants and talismans and charms and everything that we do even just thoughts and feelings and changes and and meditations etc it was just bundles and bundles of paper well now <laughs> again um, thanks to PDSA which is where the blue bottle came from and the princely sum of £3.49 I have this I don't know if you guys recognise any probably more people in the UK might recognise this a bit more I'm just going to move my driftwood over this is a paper blanks book. It's the one that does the fold at the front and it's magnetized. So if you close it, it just goes whoop. Like, nope, get off, which is fab. I, can't, I like that bit. It's like, nope, get out, you can't read me. Um, and it's just absolutely, oh, it says there, yeah, paper blanks. Um, it's just beautiful and it's plain. There's no lining in it. So I don't have to worry about it looking like a notebook that I've designated for something else it's just an absolutely beautiful book and that is now going to be my new grimoire and it's built in rather than one again which I love it's got two ribbons a gold one and a bronze one or coppery one and it's just it's beautiful I'm absolutely in love with this so there we go, that's that. And what else is there? Mm. Okay, we'll go with the chalice well stuff next. A friend from Morris went to Glastonbury and the chalice well recently for Samhain, took part in the big Samhain, which were all there, and said, oh, you know, I'll try, I'll try and bring you back a piece of the yew from, from, from Glastonbury, and uh, which she did, and it's awesome. And it's been drying and oh we can't see it at all can we see that at all nope i don't know if i can turn the light on mid film no i can't i tried um let's hold it up to the wall so you can see it a bit better there we go so that's been hanging up and drying so that's gonna i'm probably gonna leave i might sort of take this top bit this individual bit here and i might break that up and use it for things but i think as a bundle i this just hanging in your home is amazing but she also brought me back a bottle of the chalice well water i don't know if you can see at the bottom yeah you can it's got little bits of sediment in it where it's um where it settles every now and again how amazing is that i just i was jumping up and down so fast i was practically vibrating i was absolutely thrilled that she'd brought this back for me um so I'm, I mean, I'm gonna 
try and keep this for as long as possible but I am also going to be using <coughs> excuse me I'm really wheezy tonight um, I am also going to be using this water this will go into healing works um, and cleansing and purification um, all things generally uplifting etc where there's water called for whether I'm anointing anything or yeah, so I'm uh, absolutely thrilled. I was so touched and as I say, I squealed very loudly and jumped up and down a lot and wouldn't stop hugging because <laughs> I was just so thrilled. So that's that. Um, now, what next? Um, I have been making, I have been making. I've been making craft related items and craft related items for gifts. I'm just going to give you a little quick flit over there. I'm not actually sure if you're going to be able to see them because they're sitting on a brown rug. But I've been... No, no, you can't. I've been spray painting things. You can't... No, you can't see. There's a, a bowl and a lid and two um, other objects that I have spray painted as a base because I'm crafting them for people for gifts. Um, hence the spray paint on my finger. But I also, last night, because I couldn't wait, and I wanted to actually properly use my mortar and pestle. I made black salt. You can't really see that. Oh, there we go. Uh, if anybody doesn't know how to make black salt, um, it's I took two charcoal discs, crushed them up, and added an equal amount of salt and crushed that all together. I put a drop of dragon's blood oil in there because this is, for me personally, everybody uses things for different reasons, but for me, black salt is hefty protection. And I mean hefty, like, bam, go away, get out of here, no, you're not coming in, and if you by any means do get in, you're gonna get thrown straight back out again. So, and that's also why there's not much in there because I've used, as you're looking at it, I've used about an inch. <laughs> it's just been sprinkled all around the outside of the house outside of the garden, little dibs in corners of rooms, some on top of door frames. I am all about protection right now with the whole issue that I posted not so long ago on Facebook that I had with a certain person. And then just other energies that I've been feeling that were just malevolent in the, the nastiest ways, picking up and the psychic vampirism and everything is just horrid. So it's just, it's all about protection for me at the moment. And I, whenever, in, in all craft, I follow my instincts and the calls and I respond. And that's what I'm doing is I feel the need to supercharge the protection. So that's what I'm doing. And it, it feels good to do so. Um, so something else I made is I've seen a few different videos with various different oils um Lady Grave Dancer and Joey Morris each do their own um, Black Cat Return to Sender protection oil and I'd send a few various different protection bottles um, I am going to be doing a spell bottle for protection soon I'm probably going to do that tonight as well actually um, <clears throat> but I didn't want to do a black oil I wanted to do an oil where you could see through it and then as I was just, just sort of sitting and thinking on this for a little bit, I, I kept seeing red. I just kept seeing the colour red. and But not like, not like that red, like um, auburn hair red, like burnt umber, um, like terracotta red. I didn't know why, it just kept coming to me. And I suddenly thought of something, because I obviously you always like to try and, um, well not try and, you like to, create your own recipes for things like this um so i did i made protection oil would you look at the color of that so it's in a lovely round glass bottle it used to have sand in it and you can see some of the herbs kind of floating around up in there if i give it a bit more of a, a shake because it's due for a shake actually at the moment i'm sh i'm kind of uprooting this three times, three times a day. So it's, get three times, nine. <laughs> Sorry, quick bit of finger math there. So it's getting nine zhuzhes um, every day. Nine for me being, um, it's the Maiden Mother Chrome, which is three. Um, and I like, to, if I do anything by three, I like to do it three times. So that's nine. 
Um, and the little charm that you can see on the front there, ages ago when Jill first sent me a package. Um, Jill, you'll recognise this. This is the little pentacle charm that you sent me that I had on my old Morris hat. I've now got a new Morris hat, as you can see up there. Um, I couldn't think of a better use for this, is to put it on here. So that has been sitting, actually, again, following the call, it's been sat on a, a my other pentacle plate underneath my altar as a bit of a sort of, I'm just going to sit under here and brew and stew and all the rest of it. So that's been sat under there. That, um, once I'm going to let that sort of sit and steep and give it the, the old nine zhuzhs every day right up until um, the day after the full moon. I'm going to leave it sitting outside the night before, the night of and the night after the full moon and then it will come in and then it's ready to be used. So I'm just going to give you a quick little... Do you know what? No, actually, I'm... No, yeah, I am. Um, so in this, it's got three pieces of rose quartz chips at the very bottom. So it's got three pieces of rose quartz chips at the bottom. And thanks to Jill and her amazing herb package, in there we have... Motherwort, rue, lavender, crushed dried chilli that I grew and dried myself at home, dragon's blood oil, frankincense, uh, mistletoe, sage, mugwort, paprika powder, that's what's given it the red kind of burnt umber jobby, along with the crushed chilies, um, and Damiana, because also for because it's like vision and um, communication, etc., is if anything or anybody is trying to cause me harm or my home harm or my partner when he's here if this be a person I'd much rather be able to take the route of communication and talk with the person or whatever um, and find a solution to that um, and oils it's a mixture of sweet almond oil and cold press olive oil so there we go that's my oil um, and I'm working on a protection spell at the moment, which has also got some healing in there. Um, again, I know I keep touching on it and not going into too much detail, but those of you who know, know. Again, the issue that I've spoken to you about that happened recently, etc., which was shit, but it happened. <laughs> um, I, in a shop called Something Special, yes, that is how it's spelt, S-U-M-F-I-N-G, Something Special, um, the lassie that runs that shop makes spell candles. Now they're not your average um, wax dipped, like repetitive dipped, um, hung wicked candle. These are beeswax rolled candles. How pretty are they? And the colours aren't really showing, but the two, the one on the left and the one on the right, are a really deep purple, almost a mixture of like amethyst and raw blue. Let's see if they show up behind here a little better. Mm, kind of. Um, and the middle one is a black one. And I'm going to be burning a white one at the same time, but she didn't have any white or just natural beeswax rolled, so I've got my little... Just, oh, there, you can't really see it. Uh, my little um, collection of just like white or off-white spell candles that I use um, for general purpose ones. Um... So yeah, I think that's it, to be honest, for now. I'm sure I'll be back a bit later on. Um, now I'm back, I can't stay away from you all, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, so just again to say thank you to everybody for your love and support. Um, I feel it, my goodness, do I feel it. Very, very blessed. I hope you're all having an awesome evening, whatever you're doing, or morning, or day, or night, what, whatever time it, it be, wherever you may be. Um, know that I am sending hugs, love and light, and I will see you all soon. Blessed be.